Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. I want to do some science news because this is awesome right here. According to ScienceAlert.com, um, scientists are about to switch on a telescope that could photograph a black hole's event horizon. Think about that. Wow. We've always seen movies, uh, Interstellar, you know, where they used uh, Einstein's theory about what the event horizon would look like what a black hole would look like from up close. Uh, Stephen Hawking has provided some input into that. But now, for the first time, we may be able to peer into the abyss. It says black holes are among the most fascinating objects in the universe, but despite the fact that they're suspected to lurk at the center of most galaxies, the reason is that no one has ever been able to actually photograph one. And that's because black holes, as their name imp imply, are very, very dark. And they're so massive that they're irreversibly, they irreversibly consume everything that crosses the event horizon, including light, which makes them impossible to photograph. But that could be about to change when a new telescope gets, switches, gets switched on in April. So April 5th to 14th, my friends, the network of telescopes called the Event Horizon Telescope will be switched on. Now, this is a network of radio receivers located across the planet, including at the South Pole, in the U.S., Chile, and the French Alps. Now, the results will put Einstein's theory of relativity through its paces like never before, which is very, very interesting. And I can't wait to see whether or not this actually uh, comes to pass. Because could you imagine, could you imagine if what they see is something that they don't, expect at all and it throws general relativity on its head i mean it probably won't but i'm just saying it can uh, you could really have science get thrown for a loop because it's already been done already with things like cern uh the large hadron collider over in switzerland uh the particle accelerator where just in doing that research they proved that the universe is ordered and not random. It's not random acts that creates things. There is an ordered process to everything which denotes intelligence. And they now they're coming to they're coming to grips with it. See, science had like this 200 year period, 300 year period, that 200 year period of, you know, this darwinistic uh, do away with God, God has nothing to do with science, yada yada yada. When in fact there's a symbiosis there that Scientists knew about 300 years ago, 400 years ago, 1,000 years ago. People that were in, experimenting and in, inventing back then understood that they work together. They're not, they don't compete with one another. So it'll be interesting to see what they find with this new telescope that squ gets switched on, scheduled April 5th to the 14th. I wonder what they'll see when they photograph a black hole for the first time. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot, and I'll have one again for you real soon. Have a great day, everybody.